What's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today it is to show you what I've been working on for the past few months and I'm going to apologize for my voice right now because as you can probably tell I'm sick. Um, but this is FMDL Studio version 2 and it is a Unity based project and the reason we used Unity for this is because Unity can build models and uh, this is an FMDL importer and plan to be exporter. So if you load up the project and go to the FMDL Studio menu option here, you'll have the option to import FMDLs. So if you click that and choose a model here, go of Quiet's model, then you can see that it automatically imports the model and textures it. Now, right now the textures have to be in a specific location, so if you import a model that uh, doesn't have the textures at the right location, then it'll tell you that it couldn't find the textures, because right now they have to be in a folder with the model's name um, inside the FMDL Studio folder for, for now. Um, anyway. So the reason I'm announcing this now is that because we finally got the project to a state where we're able to export FBXs from it. So if you click a model here and go to FMDL Studio and convert to FBX and choose a place to output it. So let's just output it on my desktop. Um, it'll build the model as an FBX and it can take a while uh, depending on how detailed the model is, but it does succeed. So I'll pause the recording here and I'll be back when it's done. Alright, I'm back and as we can see the model has finished being converted to an FBX. So if I go to my desktop here, here's the model. and If we open that in 3ds Max, then we can actually see the model. So it'll ask you um, about all these settings. You can leave them all default. Um, the one thing I would recommend is going into your Max's uh, units settings and change the system units to meters because that's what uh, Unity uses by default. So the models will look the same in both if you set it to that. Anyway, you're gonna wanna hit okay It'll probably pop up with some warnings here, but you can ignore those. So yeah, it pops up with these warnings. That doesn't matter, just ignore them. Hit OK. And let's go in here. And now we can see model here. And it is fully rigged. So I'm going to set this to descending age because it's easier to find the bones. Uh, let's go to left upper arm. Let's go with that. So if I choose that, choose the rotate option, we can see that the model is fully rigged. And let's play around with some other stuff. Let's move the spine. So anyway, if you wanted to steal uh, Metal Gear's models, or I guess any of the Fox Engine games models, then you can now. I can't guarantee that it won't throw an error on some models. I haven't tested it with every model, but on most of the ones I've tested it on, it does work. Um, so now we're working on the importer. Hopefully we'll have that done soon, and then we'll be able to import models back into MGSV and we'll be able to get a whole bunch of custom model mods. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, have fun playing around with FMDL Studio, and I will see you guys in another video.